美国法律赋予了公民持枪的权利，目的就是为了自卫。那么，如果有人要揍自己，自己是否可以掏出枪警告他呢？今天的这个案件比较特殊啊，这里是美国的华盛顿州，这名举起双手的男子叫马里奥。就在刚刚，他和另外一名司机发生争执，马里奥掏出了枪，于是另外一名司机就报了警。I'm Sergeant Maples. The call was a road rage that went bad where you pointed a gun. Is that how it came out to me?、Oh, okay. I'm just telling you how it came out、okay. to us. When people point guns at people, you're our focus. Okay. If you're the person pointing the gun. I understand. I didn't point it. I'm just telling you what was told to I us. I understand. From an officer safety standpoint, just like in your situation, if somebody's doing something to you, you draw your gun to protect yourself, right? Exactly. Same thing with us. So right now, our focus is on you, whether you committed a crime in the state of Washington by what you did, or didn't do, which would mean that you didn't commit a crime. So that's what we're doing. You don't have to put your hands up. Well, I don't want you guys to shoot me. Why? Why would we shoot you? I don't know. I heard about you guys. I heard about you cops. Do you know me? I don't know. You cops.、Shoot. Have you ever met me? I don't know. You guys. You guys shoot people for no reason. I don't know. <laughs> that's a dream you live in.、Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to get touched. 马里奥给了警察当头一棒。他说自己之所以一直举着手，原因就是害怕警察会乱开枪打人。警察觉得这个理由很好笑。其实，如果当事人没有故意威胁到警察，正常情况下，美国警察也是不会乱开枪的。So, have you ever met me before? He threatened me, and I'm sorry. Why don't you listen to what I'm telling you? I'm sorry. I'm Otherwise, sorry. you're going to end up in jail today for pointing a gun at somebody, according to what he said. I did not point it. I don't care what you say right now. I'm telling you what he said. So knock your attitude off. I'm sorry, sir. Have you ever met me? No, I have I've not. I've never、sir. met you. No, I have not. Okay.、Sir. I've never met you. So let's not throw the little jabs at each other. Okay. I'm sorry. Nobody's going to shoot you. Don't accuse officers. I'm sorry. Okay. So you were in a car today, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not asking you. I'm asking him. You were in a car today, correct? Yeah, I was in the car. Okay. Where were you at when this all started? Right there. It all started right here. You weren't driving down the road. No. Okay. And when you were right here, what happened? I got out the car because he got behind us, and then I was like, "What's your problem, sir?" Like behind you, like driving along here? Yes. Okay. And then he took off his shirt and said, "What's up?" Why would he just all of a sudden randomly get out of a car and say, "What's up?" Because road rage. I don't know. I mean, are you guys backing up, or you just no, got out of the car? No, I was trying to park. Okay. And then what happened? That's it. I pulled my gun. I said, "Leave me alone." He said, "Oh, it's like that." And then he stopped right there and called you guys. Okay. That's all that happened. Okay. 事情就是这么个事情啊！两位司机都认为对方是路怒，对方司机把外套脱掉，走过来似乎要单挑，而马里奥则瞬间掏出手枪准备自卫。问题就出在马里奥的行为是否真的到了需要掏出手枪自卫的地步。如果没有达到自卫的条件，那么马里奥掏枪的行为就可能构成犯罪。Hey Mark, Mario, that's my name. You want to fill out a statement? No. Okay. That's your right. It's just pretty much just saying what happened. What, It was just mis misunderstanding. Okay. I don't care. There's no misunderstanding when guns are pulled. Well, he's big.、None. He's bigger than me. He's trying to beat either, me up. Either you were lawful or you were not lawful. Well, I did not threaten him. According to you, he has a different story. I'm waiting to hear what that other story is. As I told you, Mario, that if you legally were justified in what you did, you're good to go. If you weren't, then you're going to be、I'm, under arrest. I'm sorry, but I know I'm right. Okay. You didn't hear the beginning of our conversation, so. The fact of the matter is, you can't just pull a gun out on somebody in the state of Washington. You, okay. So, he, but you have your story, he has his story, and we're trying to figure that out. When people pull guns out, our focus is the person that had the gun and their actions. Can I put this in my pocket? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not sorry. What's that? That's your choice if you want to、and、fill it out. Just so I don't have nothing else. I already, you. I already, you already showed me. Are you, are you writing one or down?、No? Uh, I mean, it's a misunderstanding. I, I already, I already told him what happened. Oh, it's your right. Like I'm saying, I, I'm just giving you an opportunity.、It's、if you don't want to, you don't want to. We have, we have body cameras. Everything's audio, video recording. Yeah, but yeah, still, it's your opportunity, right? What the fuck? So am I in the wrong for protecting myself? 
So this is Officer Blake. Officer Blake's going to tell us about I'm listening. Okay. So, is it legal to carry a firearm with a CPL? Yes. But you cannot just show someone your firearm for self-defense, okay? It's written in law that you cannot brandish a firearm. Even if someone's trying to hurt me? You feel like he was going to hurt you? Yeah, he took off his shirt and he started approaching me. Is that not a threat? I'm getting a completely different story from both of them. Yeah. What? He did. He, he got out his car right here. He stopped. He pulled off his shirt and he said, what's up? I know. It's because I'm colored, maybe. Regardless, you cannot brandish a firearm. I'm sorry. For the purposes of self-defense. He was trying to hurt me. I don't really think you are sorry. I am sorry. I really don't think you yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so at this car. point right now, yeah. we're you're under arrest. Under arrest. What? what? You brandished a firearm in the state of Washington, and you didn't have the legal right to do so. What? Yeah. How am I arrested? Not easy. You're under arrest. For what? For brandishing a firearm when you didn't have the legal right to do so. You cannot pull a gun out, and you're he carrying it, and you're me. carrying it concealed in your waistband. I didn't conceal it. Was it out in the open? Yes. According to you, you said you lifted up your shirt and no, pulled your gun out. No, it was out. Okay. Well, that's the wonderful thing about it is that that's what the court system's made for. Where is he going? To Marysville. Marysville? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go over my car over here. Okay, I'm just verifying you don't want to... 马里奥被逮捕了，不过这里的警察还是挺人性化的，他们一再提醒女士，到底要不要填写一份声明，因为女士是这件事情的目击证人。如果她填写了声明，在马里奥请到律师以后，这份声明在法庭上是十分有力的证据。现在马里奥被逮捕了，理由就是掏出枪威胁别人。如果从马里奥的角度来讲，国家支持公民持枪的目的就是为了自卫。现在别人过来要揍自己，为什么不能掏枪自卫呢？根据《华盛顿枪支法》的规定，当一个人合理的认为掏枪行为是为了保护自己或他人，免受他人即将使用的非法武力伤害的时候，那么这个人就有理由对他人使用武力。现在的问题是，当时事情发生时，双方都没有录像。警察也不肯听马里奥的一面之词。警察认为当时的条件不足以让马里奥掏枪自卫，所以马里奥的行为是违法的。马里奥已经被逮捕，他只能到时候上法庭表达自己的看法了。此外，马里奥还面临着另外一个问题：美国允许公民在公共场合持枪，但是很多州的规定不一样，基本上可以分为公开携带枪支和隐藏携带枪支。公开携带就是必须把枪或者枪套露在外面，让人家看到。隐藏携带就是必须把枪隐藏起来，不能让人家看到。华盛顿州的规定就是，公开携带是合法的，而隐藏式携带虽然也是合法的，但是必须获得相关部门颁发的执照。显然，马里奥并没有隐藏携带的资格，他只有把枪露在外边才算是合法的，而他用衬衫盖住枪就是违法的。这是警察逮捕他的第二个理由。现在，警察再来找报警人聊一聊。Hey boss, how you doing? Not bad, Sergeant. How about yourself? Not too bad. Can I talk yeah. to you back out here? Yeah. So explain to me. I know you talked to the other officer. Explain yeah, to I'm me. Yeah, calm down a little bit. Yeah. Please, sir. No. So no, explain to me what you what. And then he kept he jumps out of his car like this. Normally I don't even entertain it, but I was just like, dude, come on. Like I got out and it's like, dude, learn how to drive. And he's like, oh yeah, f pulls out a f gun. Okay. I, but I never even came towards him. I was never aggressive. I didn't even say anything. So you but, never took your shirt off? I took my coat off. I took my coat off. Okay. Yeah. But but I was standing my ground. I didn't walk past. Right. Like. So how far? Like you stopped. I took my coat off and then I stood right here. You stopped I, in I the already roadway. I saw him doing this already. You, right. You stopped in the roadway. Correct. And when he is in front of you, do you see the firearm on him at I all? Saw, no. Well, I saw something like in his waistband, but he kind of had his hand like this already. So I was like, normally guys do that. They're just talking but you proved me wrong, so, but I kind of saw something. But and it was the, all happening so fast. But is, the gun, but is the gun hidden? Or? Uh, it was, yeah, it was, he had his shirt over Shirt over it. So it okay. like this with a shirt over it, so, so technically concealed, I guess. Yeah. But I, he had kind of had his hand in that area. So you stop, yeah. get out, take your jacket off. Yeah. Well, I didn't do that at first. No, I came up and I talked to him, and then he started talking. But I'm not going to agree. Yeah, so how far are you from him? Oh, he's like... Not like this? No, way further than that. Okay. 
And so you're probably 20, 25 feet away. So you're talking to him about his driving. Yeah. And then he's aggressive with his hand right. at his waistband. Yeah. And then at what point does he pull the gun out? I think after I took my coat off, but I didn't. I didn't. I came back and stood in the same spot because then he started talking a bunch of. He's like, I can't remember what, he was just threatening me. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay. But I just stood here. I wasn't going to go to him. Okay. And then that's when he pulled the gun. I was like, dude, really? Yeah, you're going to need it. What is it? Him. When that happened, what was going through your mind as you see the gun and he's saying, Well, I'm like, okay, dude. That's what, I started backing up instantly. I was like, okay, dude, okay. And I, he went, he literally walked right into the store. Well, what I'm looking for yeah. from you, though, is yeah. how did, what, what was your mindset when you saw the gun? You got a gun, dude. I, so, I know, I yeah. know. My body camera's yeah. going, so yeah. I need so you to say what you yeah. thought. Oh, what I thought. Okay. Yeah. If he had a gun. Well, I thought he was going to probably shoot me. I'm, so is it I'm, fair to say that you were in fear at that point that he now has a gun well, and yeah, has introduced it? 显然，白人男子又是另外一套说辞。他说自己当时对马里奥并没有侵略性，而马里奥完全没有理由掏枪威胁他。警察也一直在引导他说一句话，那就是面对马里奥的枪，自己觉得很害怕。为什么要让他说自己很害怕呢？因为只有他说自己很害怕，这样才能说明马里奥的行为构成了威胁。反之，如果白人男子对警察说“我怕他个毛线啊”，他肯定不敢开枪。那么这样的话，就很难给马里奥定威胁罪。最后，警察还要找白人男子的女友聊一聊，以便采取更多的证据。同样，警察也在引导男子的女友说自己很害怕。Hi there. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so I want to hear in your words what you see, what's going through your mind. I was like, we gotta get out of here. I was trying to get him back. Yeah, she was. Why did you feel that way? Well, he's. I, I know it sounds funny. Right, but and so what's making you think I need to get out of here? Because it can, there can be an altercation who could shoot us with that. We're, okay. We don't have any weapons on us. Yeah. We have nothing to defend ourselves. 最后的结果是，马里奥被判入狱，因为使用枪支威胁他人以及非法的隐藏携带。当然，也有很多人为马里奥打抱不平，认为马里奥有掏枪的必要，这样就化解了一场侵略性的遭遇。如果他当时不掏枪，高大威猛的对手可能会威胁到自己，甚至会给自己造成致命的伤害。马里奥掏枪就达到了自卫的目的。也有人调侃说，在你濒死之前，你没有权利保护自己。不管怎么说，还是要以法官的宣判结果为准。所谓的冲动是魔鬼，本来就是一起并不严重的路怒事件，最后因为一时冲动掏枪而进了监狱。